Hey you guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. The video got detained. What else is new in a Max video? But I'm gonna do the thumb all over again. So let's share this video again. I'm gonna post it again, you guys. Hopefully they won't come for me again. And I just removed the design using just plain acetone and we're gonna do it again so that way you guys can see how easy it is to snatch up the new Maxi Inks, the Aurora Princess. Welcome, welcome back, my loves. So, we already swatched them. We did all that jazz. Unfortunately, that got taken down. So I'm gonna show you guys the colors again really quickly. So we got six brand new colors. We're gonna go over them really quickly again. This is Pearl Violet, which is almost like a raspberry color. Look at that. Same color over black and white. Can you see that metallic ink? pearlized pigment so beautiful the next is white magic very abalone like very beautiful next is lilac fairy also very abalone like and it looks beautiful over the white i love it next is black magic which is a black ink with gold undertones so beautiful so so beautiful next is golden diamond which is this warm golden peachy dual chrome color very beautiful and last is white wizard which is the stark white color so dope no they're only available in the set and the set comes with all six of them and it comes in the foam packaging so that way they are less likely to break and to spill so we're going to get the colors that we were using let's use let's mix it up again let's use the two purples the black and the white just for giggles so let's shake them up but we're going to use pearl violet and lilac fairy remember the inks are super heavy and they settle at the bottom so we've got to shake them up but we're just going to use a little bit of pearl violet because she is super pigmented Next is Lilac Fairy. Oh, can someone post the website so I can pin it again, please? And these are available already here in the USA. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, oh my gosh, come through Art Deco. Go in with a little bit of black magic. Thank you. The base color, if anybody asks, is Fungel 106. We did one coat of Fungel 106, cured that, and then one coat of Velvet Gel and cured it for one minute. Wow. So beautiful and super different from the original design that we had planned out, but I can dig it. And then we're gonna use White Wizard, which is the stark white. Great for a smoky kind of effect. And we're gonna shake it up really well to make sure all that pigment is dispersed evenly. How beautiful they are though. Give it a few seconds for it to dry. And then I'm gonna add more white in the middle. Oh, look how dope that looks. It looks like I have a piece of crushed up abalone on my nail. Isn't that dope, you guys? I don't know, I actually kind of like it like this, instead of dispersing it like I did with the other ones to get more of a marbly ink, I kind of like it like this. It looks like abalone to me. What do you guys think? Should I leave it like this or should I put acetone to it and disperse the design? What do you guys think? Leave it like this or change it? Oh, 
I'm just going to clean around the cuticle area. I'm using the Sailor Magic 3D brush too. It's my personal favorite brush for ink designs. Okay, I'm gonna leave it just like that. I think that's really beautiful. Rebecca Sanchez is watching, wow. So dope. Give that a few seconds to dry. And then we're just gonna seal with the coat of shiny and we're good to go. Wiper brush, any time to use one of the pearlized or metallic inks because the pigments can be picked up by the brush. So just wipe your brush gently before you put it back in the bottle. Look at that, you guys. It looks like purple abalone. So beautiful. Let's bake that for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling lamp. And you can use the, the new Aurora Princess inks with any one of our ink collections. You can use it with volume one, volume two. You can use it with the gold and silver inks. You can use it with the neon inks. You can use it with the pastels. You can use it with anything. And the important thing is to have fun and not overdo it, okay? If you overmix, you're gonna get a bloody mess. So especially when a lot of people are just barely starting out with inks, we always tend to overdo it and just overblend, and then the nail just doesn't come out how we want it. So just less is more in this case when it comes to blending them out, okay? And look how cool they look inside the lamp too. Ooh, look at that. The neon inks are actually fluorescent. Well, look at that shine. And here I used less colors. On these, I only used the black and the white. But you can see it has that pearlized sheen to it. Almost like if I rubbed white chrome into the nail. Go liberal with that cuticle oil. Make sure she is nice and moist. Yes, the cuticle oil is now shipping in this packaging. And there we have it, you guys. From simple to extreme. Let's give you the Ariana Grande pose realness. So beautiful and easy too, right? Well, my love, that's going to wrap it up for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the brand new ink set, Aurora Princess, available now on the website here at enocouture.com. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.